Okay guys, what I'm going to do is go over this drawing. Um, we've done it a number of times in class, as you can see it here. Okay, so this was uh, this is where we're getting to in terms of drawing 3D form, right? And adding measurement. So I'm just going to roughly do this super fast uh, in Photoshop. I'm going to make a new document, Command N, 200 dpi. Okay, checking my layers, make a new layer above. And now at this point I'm going to switch up, okay? I'm actually using my stylus, however, um, I'm going to switch to the, uh, using the mouse. Very important that we all um, kind of get these nuances within Photoshop. It's unfortunate, but uh, I'm going to have to try it. So here we go. It's 100% right now. And I'm just going to click once. My line is 3. Okay, so from here I chose a hard edge. Okay, very cool. Uh, simple things. Vanishing point on the right. Vanishing VR. V left. You guys know all this, and you know this is the horizon line. Beautiful. Okay, so a quick grid. One. And let's just do another one, boom, and then another one there, and who cares? I'm just doing all this. So this is my grid, right? No worries. I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to do the same thing, okay? So I'm just going to reduce the opacity of this one. Let's see what we can do. Wow, I can see the cutoff here of the page. Okay, we'll sort that out later. So here it is. It's nice and low. I'm going to do the same thing this time. I'm going to use my mouse and not... Uh, my stylus, okay? So let's check this out. So this is my vanishing point. Click once. Move your mouse away. Hold shift. Boom. Look at that. Click once. Come all the way down here with shift. Look at that. Super, super amazing. So like that. And click once here and done. Okay, so that's pretty powerful. If I do the same thing with the stylus, check how this is. Click once. Come down here. Look how light that is. I don't, I'm not, I really don't understand why this is like this, okay? Uh, regardless if I'm normal or multiply, it doesn't matter. Look at that. It's very soft, right? So Command Option Z, see ya. So what I'm going to do right now is zoom in here. Uh, let's get the zoom to work. Command Plus, okay? 200%, uh, no worries. 100 is okay if it's 200 DPI. 100 is perfectly fine. So I'm going to come back to my um, stylus. Straight down. No problem, right? This is okay. Straight down, no problem. Okay, so between the stylus and um, you know the mouse, I think we're in good shape. So what I'm going to do is just quickly erase some of these things so we don't get uh, distracted. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to hide the previous layer. Ooh, wrong layer. Which layer am I drawing in, people? Ha! Ah, yes, of course. Okay, so you're coming up here. Uh, let me just make my brush super big. You get what I'm doing, right? So very simply here. So let's just, uh, just draw brush again. I lost my horizon line. <laughs> uh, this is good times, no worries. See, it's all good. Awesome. All right, so we're still doing this. I'm going to pick a point down here, get rid of my status, click once, and go all the way up here, and boom, there it is. Click once here, move my mouse, hold shift, target. Draws beautifully, okay? We used to do this. In other applications, even illustrators use Illustrator to use this. So back to my stylus E and C on that so we don't get uh, confused too much. Now another thing you can do is bring your guidelines, okay? So you can say this side, bring my guide over here, taper it in more. So I have to click from there to there, okay? So back to brush for B, okay? And get rid of my stat stylo and click once here. That's my stylus. Click once on that spot, boom, look at that. Click once, target, hold shift, beautiful, right? Okay, so back with my stylus. And really, you could do this whole thing with the mouse really super fast, see? Click once here, straight down, click once, straight down. Now, um, these are our landmarks. This is super wide. It's not actually accurate in terms of uh, my 3D, the 3D printer, but this is the goal here. I'm going to show you this picture here. This guy here, as I was showing you guys in class, you can't eyeball this and go, yeah, it's something like this, Mr. Valiant. You have to find your landmarks and then take your landmark point to your vanishing point. And within that, we're going to do that, okay? We're going to get that oval shape. So if I look at this printer, it's really tiny, but regardless, I'm just going to exaggerate a bit. Come this way, okay? So from here, I'm going to go to the vanishing point, right? Command minus. Click once, vanishing point, pop, done. Click once. Vanishing point. Beautiful. And then proportionally, I'm looking from the top. This thing is not that big. So from here and here, 
So I'll go from here and I'll go straight down. Done. Here, from here, straight down. Okay, so we, we've got this kind of figured out pretty nicely. All right? So what I'll do now, I'll just zoom in a bit, Command Plus. Command Plus again. What's the percentage? Wow, 300%. And now is when I'm going to use my stylus to round things off. So just like that. Just round it off. Right? Well, we all know that the first day in class, I showed you guys how to make a square from this. We arced that way. And we know that this rotated, that rotated, makes a perfect square, right? So, and we also know if we divide this in four, we've got ourselves our circle, right? There's, there's diagonal ways where we kind of divided this into three and we pop them and we know that we can click in here and so on. So again, you're doing an exaggerated version of that here, okay? So that was geometry. I showed you how to make a perfect square, circle, triangle, and so on, okay? So there's my form. So if I zoom out here, that's not bad, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. And again, guys, nothing is stopping us from zooming in, hit E, you know, whoa, that's too big, obviously, square brackets, and just clean it up a touch, okay? And then just, you know, work on your colors. I myself, I'm getting into, um, when I'm working with the brush tool now, I'm drawing in multiply, which is kind of fun. It's almost like, like it gets darker the more, the more times I apply a uh, line on things, right? So there, there you go, okay? Maybe I'll just color something. Here, I'll just round this off too. I gotta zoom in a bit or pan across holding space bar. So there you go, one, two, one, two. If you don't like something, erase it, right? So look, there, doesn't matter. Guys, there, so it's starting to look a little better, okay? So then when you start erasing these things like that, it'll make more sense, okay? You can also go brush. I'm gonna press R and rotate this guy. Do you see this angle? I'm just gonna go something like that. So just to follow that angle, do you know what I mean? So I know later on that if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna come from here to there. I'm gonna kinda of go like, I'm just doing free, free handing either here. So it's gonna go something like that, okay? So there it is. So I'm gonna zoom in again. R, spin around, that, and re reset would be good. Press R, reset, nice. Come back in here, and see, right? And then we're softening these edges. We're darkening it in. It doesn't work, Command Z it, or just go in there and, or Control Z on a Windows platform station. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I enjoy that. I can make a new layer. You guys want, you can come in here, for example, let's say, well, let me just do a quick line here. Okay, so from here to there, see, if I do this with the mouse right now, click once, it's, this is totally false. It's not right. So it's, it's not going to the vanishing point, so I apologize for a second. I'm doing this just to um, recap the polygonal lasso tool, polygon lasso, so polygonal. So if I just come in here and um, I'm in a new layer, you know, let's go over a gray scale here. I just go somewhere over here, right? And just click once here. One, two, three, four, five. Press G for paint bucket. If it's not there, it's under here. Usually it's there. And then go to paint bucket and pop. Put it in. Oops, uh, wrong couleur, monsieur. Okay, here we go. Come back and pop it one more time. All right, Command D. And then what you can do is soften the opacity, right? And just, see? And then, you know, you just, obviously these things are different layers. And what I would do is put my line lines over the layer of the color. We've done all this before. It's, it's just a review. Okay. So, again, if you are drawing with the mouse in this kind of thing, like, right, you know, if I just oops, hold shift, go across, done. This is my vanishing point down here. Click here. Hold shift. Do you get what I mean? Click, shift. Click here. Shift. Click once, don't touch anything, hold shift, it'll go straight. From down here, go to the target, shift. From here, click once, move your mouse. When you're at the target, hold shift, boom. How nice that is. Click once, move your mouse all the way to target, hold shift, done. From here, same thing. Click once, move your mouse, hold shift, bingo. So you got your form super fast using the mouse tool. Unfortunately, this doesn't work with the stylus. Très dommage. See you guys, Valiant out. Thank you very much. Under 10 minutes even. Yeah.